Mahishasur struck the great god Vishnu on the head and watched as he fell unconscious from the skies onto the earth below. As quick as lightning, the great golden eagle who had been sitting down, Vishnu's great golden eagle, who had been sitting down after being hurt, flashed up. He caught the falling god on his back and flew out of the battlefield quicker than a heartbeat. As soon as Vishnu left the battlefield, the gods fell into panic and fled in every direction. The only one left standing was Shiva, the great god Shiva. Shiva, the one who will dissolve the universe at the end of time. And Shiva fought single-handedly with Mahishasur. But of course, Mahishasur had the gift of invincibility. No man, no god, no demon, no one of the male species could hurt him. So even Shiva could do him no harm. Shiva, whose fire can reduce galaxies to ashes, could not hurt Mahishasur. In a little while though, Vishnu came, he recovered and he came back into the battlefield to fight side by side with Shiva. And when Mahishasur saw the two great gods standing there in front of him, he roared. And his roar eclipsed every other sound as yet heard on that battlefield. Using his magic, the demon grew in size so big that he filled the sky. The earth trembled and quaked beneath his hooves. With horns as long as streaks of lightning, the beast tore up two huge mountains and flung them at the two great gods. The gods crushed the mountains to dust. But under cover of that dust, Vishnu once again threw his flaming discus, his chakra, his spinning wheel of destruction that burns like a thousand suns at Mahishasur. This time it hit the buffalo demon and knocked him to the ground. But just for a moment, in the blink of an eye, Mahishasur had jumped up again and using his magic, this time he turned himself into a huge lion with a growl that rumbled like storm clouds. The demon lion sprang once again at Vishnu and at his great golden eagle, clawing both of them, covering them in their own blood. And before they could react, before Vishnu could do anything, Mahishasur in an instant changed once again into a giant buffalo, charged at Vishnu and gored the great god in the chest. Vishnu and his great golden eagle, both dazed, both covered in their own blood, once again flew blindly from the battle, leaving everything behind. Seeing Vishnu flee for the second time and seeing that Mahishasur truly was undefeatable, Shiva too left the battlefield, as did Brahma. Brahma, who had given Mahishasur these powers, also got out of that battlefield as fast as he could. When the three great gods fled, the rest of heaven's armies did not stand a chance. The demons fell upon them like a savage hunt of tigers attacking a herd of cows. Mahishasur and his demons won the battle against the gods. After a hundred years of battle, the heavens belonged to the demons. Heaven and all of its treasures. The defeated gods fled and hid themselves where they could not be found. In the heart of impenetrable forests, in, in the caves of unclimbable mountains, they hid like animals. And there they stayed, in hiding for three million years. Three million 